thank you for joining us. My name is Kristen Hatcher, and I'm here with Brad Wardell. Hi, Brad. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. <laughs> good. Ready to do some galaxy conquering? I, I am absolutely ready, but I have no idea. Not only do I not know how to play Galactic Civilizations 3, I don't even really play turn-based strategy games, so I don't know like how to move the ships or anything. So I need you to, to tell me how I can get started playing this game. Oh, uh, sure. So can I make a bunch of, uh, you know, well, I can't believe you're playing this game. Yeah, yeah I think that yeah, is pretty much of, called for. I think yeah. it's required. We, we have to. So I don't <laughs> want to get into trouble. So, so you, I'll, I'll you be click nice. the new game button. Now, why, what, why would I choose new game as opposed to, say, the campaign or something like that? Well, if, well, if I was playing brand new, I would probably click on a tutorial. Button. Okay. But that would be really boring for, for me. Sure, because you're not brand new at the game. Right. right. So I'll show you how to play a regular game. Okay. Um, the campaign, a lot of people, uh, the campaign is also a great way to start. I I personally prefer to play the sandbox mode. That's the new game. That's where I'm creating my own story. All and right. that's what, really what Galactic Civilizations is about. Absolutely. Is that I'm creating my own story. I'm not following someone else's. Right. I want to I wanna conquer the galaxy, and I want to make uh, spaceships. And I want to colonize planets and all that stuff. All right. And, and don't forget the enslaving and the Enslave. torturing. Well, wait a minute. I, I don't think I'd be playing that game. Oh, well, I mean, because <laughs> that's an option. You can play as the Drenching Empire. In fact, it probably would be a good time to walk through, since this is a new thing uh, mm -hmm. you know, a, uh, mm -hmm. for new players to understand who these guys are, because they're all different. Yeah. Um, it's, not, it's not like you're playing it's just different graphics they actually have their own civilization right. and trees right. and technologies and all that so the terran alliance mm -hmm. terran alliance is the it's us it's the humans in the year 2242 okay and we've just left earth all right our colony ship we only just oh man i know well we just got faster than my travel oh okay so, all right all right yeah it's it's a one of those things okay you can also play as the drenjan empire mm -hmm. who are well, they are very bad people. Okay. And they, they like to eat other people. Oh my. Yes, they are they are right. the they like torture and they are the main villains of this of the, the game lore. I, I don't think I like them. Right. Well you you might you know, they they do have some pros. If you get on their good side, they will go around murdering who you ask for. Oh, oh well I need one of them maybe in my life. Yeah. This now the Altarians, uh the, the Altarians are uh they're the goody goodies. Mm -hmm. So they're 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 the, they are very, very do the right thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so they're, they're very, they're, I wouldn't say they're spiritual, but they're, they are ancient. So they, they've been around a very long time. And in fact, you can actually mouse over a lot of this stuff. And get a little additional information. get a little bit of information okay. on what all this means. So everything has a tool tip mm -hmm. that'll explain what little goodies they get. And we'll talk more about all these in a minute. Okay. Then we have the Iridium Corporation. And uh, these guys will sell you anything. I can tell by the name Corporation. Yes. So <laughs> on their planet, the it became a giant company. The governments went away and, it, and the multinationals got together. It's basically the libertarian's dream company come <laughs> nice, true. Nice, nice. So okay. I plan to move there at some point. <laughs> All right, uh, good. I can sell my organs there uh, freely. So I, oh, I'm, oh, good. I, well, got, you do have two kidneys, right? I, I do. Uh, well, I, uh, so I don't really need both. Right. Then there's the Kryn. The Kryn are a very complicated race mm. because the Kryn are religious zealots. Aha. Uh -huh. But they're basically also criminals. Oh, they, so their religion allows for criminality, I guess. Yeah, it, it's it's one of those things where the people, the government is corrupt. Okay. And there it's like the space mafia, but they're oh. but they also operate under the the guise of. But we're spreading the light. No, right. Okay. So, All right. Uh, the Yor have no idea how the rest of us even exist because <laughs> okay. they are. Uh, they're clearly mechanical. Right. They are synthetic, and they. Uh, in fact, they are literally as one of they don't have to, they don't even have to they they do not play them until you know the game because you don't actually uh, get population growth anymore. You have to build them. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. So that they they don't like the rest of us in general. Well, why would they? The Iconians are are nice are they're nice, uh, but they uh, they're kind of afraid of everybody because the home planet of the Yor mm -hmm. it's called Iconia. 
Oh, oh, okay. When you play, see their home planet? Yeah. Iconia. Huh. And then we have the Iconia. The Icon their, new, their planet see. is now new Iconia. I, I'm getting a sense of what may have happened here in the past. Yeah, you may even notice that there's a vague resemblance. Of Oh, they got taken over by their robot masters, didn't they? They did not have Terminator movies over there. You, <laughs> well, see, we, we learn from our lore. That's right. <laughs> Humans don't, don't have a robot problem. No. But if you go and they, you, you, a lot of people will go and play the game and they won't realize... Hey, mm -hmm. these guys, and then you go and look at like, especially the guys in the background, they're regular drone guys. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's like, oh yeah, they're totally these guys, but as robots. And then we have the Thalans. Mm -hmm. They claim that they came from the future. Oh. Yes, they claim that they are time travelers from the future in which the humans have destroyed the galaxy. You know, and what's funny about them is I look just like that when I wake up in the morning. Just well, you. you, you <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so now we can also create a custom race, but that's a whole nother video unto itself. Yeah, that's not that's an advanced topic. Right. But once you get into the game, a lot of the fun of the game is creating your own race. Sure. And unfortunately, I, I don't tend to be super imaginative. I tend to create different human races. Okay. Oh, <laughs> yeah. these aren't the Terrans. These are like the Confederacy of yeah, right. Space or <laughs> right. But that way you can kind of tell your own story right. about what's happening. So I am going to pick the humans. Uh, it's a good place to start. We, yeah, I, we understand humans. I know I who hope. humans are. I have a reasonable uh, experience. We had to cut out one of the planets from the previous galaxy. Right. Which, there's no Pluto this there's, time. That's right. So um, that was good. It, it cut us some art costs. Yes. So <laughs> we'll go ahead and pick that. Now, um, if you're a new player, all these settings are generally already pretty well set so we could just you know click start and we'd be we'd be okay with what we had going on yeah well, okay. I'll, I'll briefly walk through so you have galaxy map size mm -hmm. and this matters a big deal because the big maps on this are not like so a little background galaxizations yeah. is the world's first native 64-bit strategy game and right. that wasn't done so we could go yay we're number one uh it was done because we wanted to have a really big galaxy right and it's a scale model. It's a scale. Yeah, yeah, it's only a model, <laughs> uh, but uh, it's it's tough because you you gotta. There's a lot of data in there, especially if you want to have lots of different every all. You can play have a hundred players in mm -hmm, the game mm -hmm. if you want, which is again in, pretty insane. If I wanted to have an insane sized map, how long would it take me probably to finish a game? I'm not sure because no one has finished one yet. Now we're, <laughs> we're making this video before the game ships. That's true. So it be hasn't fair, been officially released. But you're talking. Probably weeks, weeks. At least. Yeah. yeah. That's one of those games. The funny thing is, is that it's like uh, if you play a big enough game of Galaxization, it's almost like playing a role playing game. You mm -hmm. get your 100 hours of gameplay into one map. But except at the end of Galaxization, you can then go, I want to play again. And it's going to be right. all different. And it'd be, it could be a totally different game, to, especially if you start customizing things. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's one of the things we're really excited about is that it is a strategy game mm -hmm. in the same sense that, say, uh, any of your favorite role-playing games are could be argued as strategy games sure. or have strategy elements. It's just that this is a game where you're making your own story. Now, for if you're watching right now, uh, don't be afraid. Even if we pick a small map, we're probably not going to finish the game. Um, maybe we are, but we'll, oh. we'll see where we can get to. Um, so you're not going to be sitting here for weeks watching us. And I know you would sit here for weeks and not move and, and you know. Or that, eat. Or eat or anything. I know that you would do that, but and we're not going to require that. that of you. So I'm going to go ahead and start it up. Okay. So I'm going to hit start. It's going to build up the map. Mm -hmm. Galaxy spinning. You chose spinning. a small it's map thinking. size, right? I chose small. Okay. And we've got our default uh, opponents because... Although we're playing as the dr the, the Drengen, yeah. the Terrans. See? I told you the torturing and the enslavement is uh, <laughs> it's, it's tempting. It's getting started. Um, we've actually got three opponents of the other races that we're not playing right. are going to be on this map as well. Yep, and so I, I have the explorers in a hostile galaxy, or hostile universe in this mm. case, mm -hmm. but it really is a galaxy. Indeed. Um, the uh, Terran Alliance. So they literally, the humans got together, they united, hooray. Mm -hmm. Though there's even a backstory behind that, but um, the humans want to be the good guys. They, they, the humans are interesting in this in the, this game world because they really want to be the good guys. They're really trying, mm -hmm. but they are really good. Humans have been 
doing war a long time. <laughs> right. We're really good at we're, it. We are. And so it's whenever true. the someone messes with the humans, bad things tend to happen to them. Okay. And that, the campaign deals with that a little bit. It's like, dog, we were trying to reform. You, you <laughs> just had to mess with us. So here it is. Here is our home solar system. There's Earth. I see Saturn. Yep. All right. There's Jupiter over there, Mercury. And if you first, my first tip is I hold down the left mouse button. Okay. And I can drag the map. Around. All right. Good, good. And then if I have a roller on my, on my mouse, mm -hmm. I can zoom in. Not, wow. Wow. Look at that. And I can zoom out and they oh will my. turn into little icons. Oh, okay. These are little, these dots here represent other stars because we okay. still have telescopes. Sure. We can in tell. In the 23rd century. Yeah. And that larger um, hexagon that we were looking at, uh, once you zoomed out all the way, that's the, actually, zoom out even farther, if you would, that larger out, outer. Oh, this one? No, even even oh, larger this. than that. Yes. This is the entire map. That's the entire map, right? Okay. Right. We cannot go beyond that. Yep. Okay. It's the Great Barrier. <laughs> that's right. Now, one of the things I've seen, even uh, experienced players, they think that this is a political boundary. Oh. This this thing that is your color, mm -hmm. it is actually your just your sphere of influence. I see. You do not get to claim space. I see. Um, there's, you get to claim. I mean, you can claim all you want, but <laughs> right. it's not respected it's... by any sort of no one. It it will just it annoys you when when aliens go through your right area of influence. It also annoys aliens, but right. it is not illegal. Right. I mean, I could claim the Milky Way galaxy right now. I, I claim did. it. No. Nope. Oh, oh Too late. darn Mine. it. Uh, but that's your influence comes from your planet. Okay. Your planet generates cultural influence. Mm -hmm. And it's basically how far out people have heard of you. So would I start by colonizing all of the planets in the solar system? Well, you could you put your mouse over them and mm -hmm. it'll actually tell you how good they are. Okay. So like, let's take a look at Saturn. Mm -hmm. it's, it's pretty. Nice. But you can't live on it. It's class zero. It's right. dead. Okay, good. It's devoid of life. You can't do anything about that. So we're actually, at least for our solar system, uh, paying attention to science here. A little, yeah, the, the Terran Alliance has to deal with our actual solar system. Okay. Mercury is dead. Okay. Jupiter, again, is dead. Mm -hmm. So I guess we're screwed. Well, isn't, I mean, what about Mars? We'll surely oh, be colonizing that before Mars, too long. Mars, yes. Mars is class five. It is... Barely. barely habitable <laughs> it sounds like a great place to go <laughs> yes indeed now so we can go there okay so i will do that how do i do that though how indeed all right so i have other stuff on the map yeah, i see that. i have a colony ship mm -hmm. which is a great name currently which we should change by the way because it's kind of boring not to give them cool names right is that terran alliance ship Terran Alliance ship, Colony Ship One. Nice. I'd probably give it a better name. Right. You can and you can name all your stuff. I can literally go over here, click on the oh, title. Oh, nice. Yeah. And call it like the T A S Santa Maria. Nice. Little right. nod to human history. Yep. And this guy, I'm gonna call him the. And I don't have to call it T A S. I just sure am. A S uh, Discovery. All right. So if I, if I just want to call it the USS Enterprise, I could call it that. Yeah. I mean, Paramount will call, sue you, but yeah. Right. <laughs> right. We did not call it that for various reasons, mostly Paramount <laughs> going that. to sue yeah. us. But yeah. yes, we don't and want then, that. And uh, then you have a scout here. Right. I'm going to call him the T-A-S, I don't know, what should we call him? Uh, let's see, uh, Bloodhound. Really? I, 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 all, right, uh, all right, Bloodhound. Okay. <laughs> so there is... And if you want, you can always double click or go to details. So double clicking on a ship is like clicking oh, on a details button. Oh, look at button. that. Okay. And you can hold down the middle mouse button and drag the camera around. You can do this on the main map too. We can Okay, see what that's it looks how like. you did that. All right. So that's the middle mouse button will allow you to get a 3D view of things. Yep. And the, as you can see, this ship is actually armed. Not okay. well. Sure, sure. But it does... The humans have managed to cobble together some experimental uh, weaponry to put on this ship. It's mm -hmm. not something they could put on a normal ship it would, because it took them years to do this. So this is a very special case. Okay. But you can see from the ship it has hit points, which is how much damage you can take before it dies, how many moves it gets, its tactical speed, which is how fast it moves at sublight. So 
if you're gonna do a battle, it zooms in on the map and you actually see a battle take place. Nice. But it's all happening within a particular tile. Okay. So that's how fast it can move within a tile. Uh, ship range is how far away it can get from supplies. Mm -hmm. Your people, even in the future, still need food. Right. And then um, sensor range, which is how far out it can see. And then it, it, here's a special thing. It can survey anomalies. Oh, okay. And, and see if there are any anomalies on our map here. So you clicked the done button, and that took us back to the main map. Yep, and there are no anomalies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to left-click on him. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to right-click on one of these stars. Oh. And there he goes. So you left click on the ship and then right click where you want it to go and it moves. It does. All right. And um, <clears throat> and I still now there's I just saw something interesting over here. Mm -hmm. Here's some durantium. Oh. Now durantium is really cool because uh, if you can mine it, you can get well as the name implies you get durantium. Durantium, okay. And durantium allows you to you can build factories that make use of it, mm -hmm. or you can build ships that use it that have or that are tougher, so they're good to get. Okay. But you have to build a star base first, which we're not even close to being ready to do yet. Right. So we have to be able we're to still mine on turn it one. somehow. So yeah. Right. Oh, we're still on turn one. Yep. Here we are. Okay. All right. So there's our scout. And I can also, if I want, I can zoom out on this map. That's the See mini the map. plus and minus? This mm -hmm. is the mini map. Okay. And I, I just sent him, the other guy, to this star. So this is me here. So mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and tell him to go over here. Great. And then this colony ship, what do you think? Should we just, this is, all, the, this is always the question players have to ask. There's a plant right here. Mm -hmm. It's not a good planet. Right. I mean, no offense to people who want to. So go on Mars. Well, it's a planet. By the way, why do people want to go to Mars? <laughs> because and, but it's they won't there. go live in Antarctica. Go oh, Antarctica's I think people would there. go. Uh, people do live in Antarctica part time, at least. Yeah, well, people want to go to Mars. I want to get on a ship, go to Antarctica, because I can tell you, I know. Mars is probably worse. It well, maybe yes. It's there's certainly less help around. Yeah. that's for sure. All right. Well, well, and there's no coming back from Mars, but that's a so different So should topic. we colonize Mars, or should we go out and go to a different planet? I think we should look for something better. Okay. So let's go out. We just sent one here, and we sent mm -hmm. someone here. See this dotted line here? Yep. This is the range of this particular ship. Okay. So anything within that dotted line? We can go to. Um, okay. I would say we should go here. All right. Let's go to this star. Now, do you know that there's something over there because you've played oh, this before? I know before? there's a star. Okay. Because yeah. it... So does the map change every time you play a game? Every time you play a game, it's different. You have no idea, except your solar system. Except except for your solar system is always the same. All right. Yeah, almost. Sometimes there's a Durantium mine in here. Sure. Okay. Too bad we didn't get that. Yeah, well. So next up is this button down here. Okay. This is the action button, and it changes based on what the game wants you to look at. Okay. So it, it says research. So if I click on it, there's our... our lead scientist All and right. he wants us to pick something to research he does look imploring yes yes so over here this is the technology screen is not like other games and believe me as someone who has to program the ai for this it is really not like other games okay this every race gets four technology trees okay you have for the and every the humans get colonization mm -hmm. which is about making your planets better you get engineering, which makes just your general tech okay. better. Warfare makes you better at killing stuff. Mm -hmm. And then governance is about getting along with your people and other people and making money. And okay. Which, ironically, you could argue that that should be like under capitalism or markets right, or something. Right, right. You know, I thought well, four, four things was enough. We called it governance. Sure. Let Twitter deal with the... Uh, <laughs> The fact that we stuck <laughs> that's right that we stuck uh, governance and uh, and uh, economics together right so um I don't know what what we should choose I usually pick I usually pick interstellar travel ah okay now I'll tell you why okay if you look on here you can see that it, it gives you a bunch of stuff blah 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 all the way down but the thing I care about see that moves plus one ah that makes means it makes all my units move a little bit faster. Okay. But it's there are other things that are nice too, like Xeno industrialization. Mm -hmm. It upgrades all of my factories and research centers. 
Well, that's nice too, but we only have one planet so far. Yes. So, and we managed to get out into space. Right. Okay. Right, because you hey, you have to spend some time researching, right? Yep. Okay. And then you have Xeno Farms. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I'm sorry, Planetary Improvement, which mm -hmm. is just gives me farms and hospitals. And okay. I don't usually go for that right away because Earth is already maxed out population wise. Okay. Can you start farming on your other planets uh, if you don't have that? Oh, uh, you cannot farm without it. Oh, so would are all of my colonists die? No, no. The uh, your colony ship is basically comes with a biosphere. I see. So oh, you'll I see gotcha. it. when we land on our planet, you'll actually see a biosphere, and gotcha. it control allows you. But if you want to grow beyond what that biosphere can hold, mm -hmm. then you have to make do some farming. I see. So we could wait on the the yeah. farming. Well, I think we should go with uh, the the extra move, uh, interstellar right. travel. So we'll go do that. Now you can double click on this, and it'll just take you out. Oh, nice. Okay. Another thing, another thing I do all the time is I use the tab key. Oh, really? And it, okay. will, it acts as if I'm pressing this button. Okay. And I tell you, over many hours, that saves you a lot of carpal tunnel. Right, <laughs> right. I bet it does. So now it wants idle colony. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit the tab key to take me to that. Okay. So there's good old Earth. Mm-hmm. So in, in this, on this map, the... Uh, it appears that we are in, I don't know, Rome or... Yeah, it's kind of looking like... Turkey. Yeah. A little something. of both. I'm going to say Istanbul. Okay. In this case. I'll give the illusion I know my geography. Right. I'm an American. You're lucky I can't even <laughs> tell what planet this is. <laughs> right. And, uh, but what, hey, what's you got to give us a little bit of credit. It's it, like, look how much work we put into the yeah. projection of the map to make the... Con we could have done all kinds of things with the projection, but we picked the one that was... Gave the size correct. The the most like reality. Now, what's this thing going on over here in uh, the United States? All right. So there is a xanthium deposit. Okay. <clears throat> and um, this is really good because mm -hmm. that means uh, from here on out, mm -hmm. all of our ships are 5% better than everyone else. Uh -huh. and which is awesome, right? Yeah, I mean, we just I get like that. It. Yeah. We didn't even have to earn it. It just yes. started out that way. Sometimes this is one of those games where... Because I started out with this, I would save the game and uh, yep, save the game. Yep. Um Because that is pretty nice. Because there's another thing that's really good on this planet, too. And that is there is a, a, a cataract, which is okay. a, um, allows me to do in South Africa. Mm -hmm. And it lets me do, it does plus three to manufacturing improvements, which is really good. So the, the more pluses, the better. So I can tell which of those tiles has something cool on it by the fact that there is a little icon in the bottom corner. Yes. Okay. And the other thing they do is if you look over here, so it does three plus three for manufacturing. And then you see this other thing here? Mm -hmm. This is what it does for uh, adjacent. Oh, I see. Okay. So if I build manufacturing on that tile, I get plus three to right. my manufacturing. And if I build some, uh, uh, I see research laboratory in the list there. If I build a research laboratory next to it, I get a plus one to that. Right. All right. And then we have this other thing over here, an ancient wonder, not surprising. Right. And over right. in good old Vietnam. Right. And it gives me more influence. So influence is that thing down here. So if you think of every tile in the universe being a, well, sorry, galaxy. Uh, yes. Is, it's like a cup. Okay. And it, the, they get filled from my, inf from my planets, from things that produce influence. Okay. So I currently have 10. It's going up currently one per turn. Okay. And so it'll, every turn, a little bit, one influence will spill out mm -hmm. and start filling up the cups the that I don't currently control. Gotcha. And when it gets full enough, my it'll grow and I'll have more influence. Okay. So the more influence I have, then the, or the more I'm going up per turn, I should say, the more I'll, anyway. I, I, mean, I understand what you're saying. We we certainly want to increase all of these numbers. But I don't think we need to do it right now. Okay. There's no one else around. Sure. Who are we influencing? But, I don't uh, think the Plutonians, why well, Pluto's Plut Plut not even a game anymore. Right. It's it's gone. Yeah. They're, you know, and what <laughs> they, they obviously had no lawyers to keep that from <laughs> That's happening. right. So what, what, why would no we care PR about firm. influencing That's them? That's right. What I usually do, though, is I, now the colony capital mm -hmm. here automatically does plus one to anything around it. Oh, okay. And what I usually do then is I will come over here. Actually, we might as well do it here because we're going to get a plus one. Sure. And I'm going to click build. Mm -hmm. And then, because I have a bunch of money, mm -hmm. I'm going to buy it. See, I have a, uh, see how gonna... buy is highlighted? And yeah. it, it tells me it requires 450 
billion credits, so it's expensive. But we have five trillion credits. Right. That's very American <clears throat> of you. If I want it now, I'll just pay for it. I'll just do it. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just going to do that. And it, it helps. We did that because we want you to be able to jumpstart. We don't want the game, the early part of the game to be turn, turn. I'm trying to get We want you to be able to pick what strategy you want to do. And, and I like the sound of the it. money tinkling when you when you buy something it is it is it's relaxing <laughs> it is nice. reassuring yes. you might even say <laughs> yes so next turn i will have this which is great great okay see, see what it does here though it uh and then every turn i need to come back to this planet and add more things yeah and as you can see look at that it's level two nice because because it's, you it's you see these little it's lines one to begin with and i got a plus one from here and here yeah oh i see so it's not i got gotcha. you i got gotcha. you yeah, so that's so each level gives me 5% more production. But that's going to be huge because that means in one turn, mm -hmm. I'm going to be... I'm, so we'll notice when we go back to the next turn. I have, I'm right. doing 8.3 right now. Mm -hmm. So we'll come back and see how much we've changed next turn. Okay. Now, if I'm later in the game and I've got a bunch of planets and I just want to stack up some things in my queue, my manufacturing queue down there, can I just go ahead and add things to the oh, queue? Oh, absolutely. We can come right. here and build this here. Okay. And here. Nice. And what do we got here? Well, that's a lot of research. Oh, and we will put in the, and you see it's queuing them up. Okay. All right. And I can only buy one thing per turn, though. Right. Okay. Yeah, I wish, Sean. Huh? Yeah, nice. and I could just buy that's them That's actually to protect the human from the AI, because right. guess what? <laughs> the AI would always do that way better than a human. Right, device. right. So we're going to leave here. And now it says, well, my shipyard is idle. Well, what the heck is that? And that's right. what this is. It looks the thing that looks like a rib cage there. Yep, that is. So basically, you can't go and build these gigantic ships. And these ships are truly gigantic. I mean, this this holds like a billion people. Right. It doesn't really make sense, you could argue. But it's a big, <laughs> except, unless you go, that is a big ship. That's a big ship. It's not going to be taken off from Earth's gravity. That's right. for sure. you got to build it in space. You have to build it off planet. Great. I got it. So this is what I can build. I can build an Earth Scout. Okay. I can build a colony ship. Mm-hmm. A constructor, or or I can go down to the designer and try to build something else. But I can guarantee you that if these are the only three things, mm -hmm. I'd be I can just design my own version of these. All right. Well, I think for the beginners, we should just use what is available in the game. Um, so I'm not sure. What do you think? Should we build a colony ship so we can colonize another planet? I think we, we should definitely do a colony ship. You, okay. Because the uh, there's Mars is right there, and we we can do now. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell it to build. Okay. We will want to eventually, let me zoom out. We will want to build a constructor so I can build a star base. Okay, so here. that's what the constructors are for. And then we are ready for our turn. So off we go. Oh, look, we already went out. Our, uh, what's called already, our influence has already grown. Nice. And everyone's doing their thing. That's right. And Spread it's actually asking me for our turn. And the reason why it's doing that is... Look at that. I went from 8.4 to 10.6 nice. in one turn. That's great. I like that. Yeah. So this is not a game where, um, you know, you can, oh, I, I went from 8.4 to 8.5. What a win. You know, it's like, no, no, no. Your plans go up huge. Okay. That's good. And Which is good that there's, uh, that I don't have to micromanage every planet because I can imagine a day when I've got too many planets to actually try to. Right. Um, I mean, I could try to do that but that would just take up all my time well let's take a look at the victory conditions of this game yes please so how do you win the game well you have conquest mm -hmm. that's where you conquer you fight everybody. it out yeah. sure you have influence and that is where i spread i have to have either i must control my area of influence has mm -hmm. control three quarters of the galaxy okay and I, and plus I have, and I have to hold it for ten turns. Oh, the I see. Other it's not will, like the yeah. second you get to seventy four percent. I see. Right. We also have a technology victory. All right. So there's a whole bunch of things I have to research to get to there. Okay. Do you have to research all of those things? You or, do. Okay. So that's quite a bit. It is not easy, though. According to our stats, quite a few players have achieved it. Well, that's good. Yeah, I have I'm seen our surprised. tech trees, though, and they are large. They are. <clears throat> They, so that's a serious uh, effort. Uh, ascension victory is one that's interesting. That is, there are across the map ascension crystals. Mm -hmm. And these are precursor of artifacts that 
allowed them to transcend what we call so, as mortality. Uh, or sure. So you'd, you'd go to a higher plane of existence, essentially. Right. Okay. And then there's diplomatic. And that is where I get all the players to agree to be allies with me. Ah, oh, very nice. That's very nice. I like that. Yeah. Now, Easier said than done. Yeah, if it's a drink yeah, in this game, that's going to be hard. And then I saw that they were. So uh, yes. would you say as a strategy that you should decide even and now how you want to win the game? Or do you play a few turns, kind of see the, which way the wind is blowing, and then decide what you want to go for? Yeah, I usually, it depends so much on the map and the conditions. On a small map, I probably wouldn't go for technology victory because mm -hmm. that's... I just want to have enough planets sure. to feed in that much research. Okay. Um, so conquest is pretty good, inviting. Alliance victory is pretty inviting, and so is the influence victory. All but right. I don't know which one yet. When I, if I get a planet that gives me some super duper bonus on influence, that might change my opinion. Okay. So then we have govern. Yes. And this is where where do should we spend our money? Yeah. We can spend it. Well, we can keep it. Right. I like keeping it. Oh, but then everybody gets mad. Well, they don't get mad. They just don't do very much. I see. Um, they all party, I guess. <laughs> I guess so. But they're not working on building things. No. Or researching things. Yeah, we need them to do those things. So uh, I usually, at the beginning of the game, because I have so much money. Sure. Is that I go and I will go into deficit spending. Oh, I see. see. So I'm not actually bringing in any money. Okay. But I'm only spending three so i could go a long time without running out of money right then it's a question of i'll put more on research mm -hmm. because i want to research stuff fast mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then we have our colonies tab so we can see what our colonies are doing and can we only have one doing. so far so and as you can see it's going to take 66 turns oh my god you know that's so long right right, right. So let's go back over here and put it all on manufacturing mm-hmm Oh, wow, it's only going to take nine turns. Nice. But I can even do better. See this slider here? Yeah. This just tells me what I, this lets me control what I do with my manufacturing. So are you going to spend it on social or are you going to spend it on military? Well, colony ships, exploration. But mm. <laughs> well, look at this. If I do this, I get it down to five. But now it's going to take me 27 turns to get that basic factory. Going. Right. So I'm going to take a third way out. And that is, I'm going to put this back down here. Uh-huh. And, uh, and we'll revisit that. So I'm going to put it right here. And if I just sat around hitting the turn button, it would take 10 turns to get that factory and 28 to get my colony ship. Okay. That's a long time. It feels like a long time. This is more advanced stuff. This is like automating your process when you have a large galaxy. Okay. We won't get into that right okay. now. This is trade. All right. Um, I can't do any trading right now. I have to research Xenocommerce. And then I can trade with other players. Okay. And you don't have time. You don't have anybody else to trade with, right? I haven't met anyone. I'm still yeah. on turn two. Yeah. And then timeline, so I can see my power versus mm -hmm. me because okay. economic power. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So nothing's happened yet. So pretty boring. But right. this gets more interesting over time. Sure. But yep. if you're into charts and graphs, we got your charts and graphs right here. Right. Yep. <laughs> okay. So the uh, these other things aren't really relevant yet. Okay. So let's go ahead and do our next. Now, turn. a quick oh, question: How do I save the game if I have to go and do something and want to come back to it later? You can hit this button here okay or you can hit escape oh okay and hit save all right oops and i better hit resume and not exit yeah let's let's not exit <laughs> all right let's see oh look at that everybody's just going off about their business all right and look at this there is something over here a ship graveyard oh my well I wonder if there's anything good in that. Is that one of the anomalies you were talking about? Yeah, it is. Okay. See, and it, you also, if you zoom out, you can actually see they get their own little things. So I'm going okay. to turn him around. Yes. Send him over here. Okay. Now, if I really want to, I could also hit, go to command mm -hmm. and choose survey or just hit the S key. Okay. And he would just automatically go and start searching for that stuff. But All early right. on, I like to have control. Okay. So we'll keep t doing that. And I'm, what I mentioned earlier is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to instant buy mm -hmm. this guy. Notice I'm now up to 22.5 mm -hmm. on research. So I've come a long way there. Yep. We need to do something about manufacturing. Yep. So, yeah, let's take a look at that again. Okay. So we're at 6.7. I just built this factory. Mm -hmm. This should be interesting. And 
it built. So I went to nine. Okay. So that's good. Yeah. And the more you built, the higher that number would get. And I'm going to keep buying stuff because I still have lots of money. Sure. And then when I find something interesting, I probably t will tell build a colony ship really fast too. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on, give me something good. Ooh, another resource. Ah, that's pretty. So we don't want to colonize that. We want to mine that. Right. Yeah, you you can you can try. You, <laughs> you can't. Yeah. Okay. Good. But look at this plant star. This is generally speaking, I won't say never, but you are less likely yeah. around one of these red giants to okay. find a decent planet. So I'm going to just continue on over here. Okay. I'm going to go back over here. I'm trying to think of what else. I want to colonize one planet because I want to show you the ideology, which is a major part of the game. Right. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at this. Paradise planet. A paradise planet. These are very unusual. Well, let's get oh, my, it. it. Oh, okay. And this is a, a class not so nine. nice, Lush, but it's but decent. Still. So you're not going to go over here. You're going to go over here. Yeah, you are. And I've researched my faster moving tech. Good. So it's time to... So it's he, he's looking at us imploringly. It's time to choose a new tech. Yeah, and he's telling me all the good stuff I got. Great. Which I did. And he wants something else. So this time now I'm going to go up, come up here and choose, mm -hmm. you know, industrialization. Okay. Because I'm about to have some planets. Right. Though there really, there are no wrong choices on this. Oh. Uh-oh. So that space graveyard. Yes. It's pirates? Pirates. Yes, we're going to engage because our survey ship has some kind of weapon. Some kind of weapons. Let's see. But there's three of them. Uh-huh. Oh, this is, this to me, this doesn't look good. Yeah, but they're crappy. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to, let's watch. Now, let's watch it. Okay. Right, I can do a quick battle. If you didn't want to see it, you just quick battle and it would resolve itself. Yep. Oh, and we found an anomaly. That's not part of the pirate thing. There we go. So All this right. is uh, the battle viewer? This is the battle viewer. I just paused it. All right. And the purpose of this is to allow me to see how my ships actually behave in battle. So okay. I can come over here and... You know, point, and I can go, oh, okay, so he's a tiny ship. Mm -hmm. His weapons are 800 uh, kilometers, mm -hmm. which is pretty decent. Mm -hmm. um, speed is 12. How, how about him? Now, look at this. This is mm -hmm. interesting. So he's going to get first shot. Yes. Which is going to be really important. Now, I can come over here. and I, There's multiple views. So I'm just looking at the top down, which is a simple one. Sure. And I can put up this battle log here. Mm-hmm. This is an important button. Probably should be up by default, but I'd like to see. So I fired a missile mm -hmm. and it missed. Oh. Yeah, so let's see. So there, there's that missile. Oh, oh. it didn't just miss. It might, he, he, uh, does he, he have defenses? He shot it out of the sky. No. Oh, he did. He blast shot it. That's bad. How dare he? How dare he defend himself? Oh, so he just, who just hit who? Oh, I, I uh, no, they hit me. Yeah. More missiles. But you see how much bigger my ship is? Yeah. So that tells you a little bit more on that I'm probably pretty safe because he has so many more hit points. Gotcha. So he has 85 of 105. These guys are nothing comparatively. Okay. It's kind of funny because all he has on, his, on there is basically a guns. Now I can come over here and I can, there's an, let me show you a view here. Okay. I mean, whoops, I'm just, I can go to cinematic, which tries to make it look like a space battle. Oh, okay, cool. Or I can go to free. Let me go back to top down and then free. I can use the right mouse button to go back. And then I can use the, the mouse to go around and actually oh, watch get whatever my battle. view you'd like. Yep. I'm not gonna, gonna, I can zoom out on it. Oh, the humanity. Yeah. I, I tend to play this way, but it takes a little getting used to because mm -hmm. it's, I mean. It's, you get good at it. Yeah, once you get yeah. good at it, the controls are pretty straightforward. But So as you can see, the nice thing about space, too, is that they, 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 the ships don't move like you'd expect if you're watching 
like a sci-fi movie. Right. They move like they would in a vacuum, which is some okay. players are like, hi, you, how come they move like they do? It's like, well, because there's no gravity. They're, right. There's inertia. They're, they can't yes. just... You, you know, can't just stop. You can't just, you know, drop down. You, you have to really think about what moves you're going to make right. when you're in a vacuum. All right. And luckily, you don't have to. The computer does it for you. Well, that was exciting. All mm -hmm. right. So let's see. We got our idle ship. So he got our stuff. And I'm going to send him off this way. And then we're going to colonize this planet yeah. next turn. Let's colonize. All colonize right. away. Yes, colonize that planet. Here we go. Beautiful. That gives you an idea just how big these should. I mean, well, actually, even this, this is... So you can see right. how you end up with your... Your biosphere. Yep. Oh, something happened. Okay. All right, what happened here? <clears throat> so this planet has some issues. Storm activity on the planet has dramatically increased the... Weathering of the seals on your colony buildings. So this is one of the things that in the, as you're expanding into the galaxy, mm -hmm. it's not like Star Trek, unfortunately. And that is, <laughs> these planets have problems. What? They're not Earth. Shocking. I know. This planet, it was billed as a paradise. It's a, it is a paradise, <laughs> except it has some Weather. storm issues. All right. All right. So what should we do about that? Well, we don't want our colonists to be made to suffer for our cheapness. We should install new seals, whatever the cost, or uh, begin installing the new steel seals on an attrition basis as the old ones break down. That should keep everyone safe enough, even if it does make us look cheap. <laughs> or we can't afford it, and even if we could, we don't want to coddle these people. They'll never develop a tolerance for poison that way. <laughs> and it looks like there's... Choice, the choices that you make, uh, benevolent, pragmatic, malevolent. Is that, uh, is that meaningful? Yes. So the game, Galactic Civilizations asks you, what kind of civilization do you really want to create? All right. Are you, it's kind of interesting because I have met people who I've known online who will post about how horrible the United States government treated Native Americans, right, yeah. by putting in reservations. Right. But I have seen them in a, in a video game in order to give them a tiny advantage when colonizing a planet, enslave the natives <laughs> because it gave them a five-point boost. And when I tell them, well, how can you reconcile that? He says, well, well, first they say it's a game, of course. Well, sure, yeah. But secondly, well, if I don't do it, the Drengen will. Oh, sure. Because you know what the Drengen well, are Well, if I don't do it, somebody, well, somebody's got to enslave these people. Right. So <laughs> okay. what do you think we should do? Well, I would personally never choose the malevolent um, because I want my colonies to be like I am in real life. I am torn between pragmatic and benevolent, but in truth, in this situation, I would probably choose the pragmatic approach. All right. So we're going to lose a little approval, mm. but we're only going to take a little bit of manufacturing. But I want everyone to <clears throat> like me. Yes. <laughs> you don't care about that. <laughs> so uh, now when we go to approval... If you look on here, mm -hmm. leaky seal, leaking seals, right. minus 5%. And that's never going to get better, right? You're going to have that for, the, it's on your it's on your permanent, so permanent record. record. It can never get above 99%? Well, no, no, no. I'm not saying that. Oh, you will oh, always have a 5% hit. To, so your approval rating, let's go through this. So okay. your approval rating is based on how, much, how many goodies, which is your goods and for services sure. you're providing, okay. versus your population. So... Whoops, uh, I was going to point at the point. <laughs> With your finger? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so my approval is 2.5. I am providing 2.5 goodies, mm -hmm. and I have a population of 2.5. All right. So I'm at 99%. So normally I would be at 100%. Mm -hmm. I'm providing 2.5 goodies for 2.5. So everybody oh. gets a goodie. Yes, everyone. Yes. everybody gets a goodie. Goodies for everyone. Right. You get a goodie, <laughs> and you get a goodie. <laughs> But there's a little tiny hit. There's I a 5% hit to those goodies now. Okay. So it's not that big of a deal, but it's enough to take me to 99%. Uh, and you can see where the goodies came from, right? The I start out, my colony capital provides three goodies. Mm -hmm. There must be a better term than goodie, but we're going to call them goodies. We're going to go with goodie. But um, the large empire penalty in the game, and that, basically the idea is that if you haven't read Ender's Game, <laughs> you should. Mm -hmm. um, 
there's a concept in that in that universe called the Star Wars Congress. But the idea is that an interstellar empire being connected back to Earth, there's a little bit of angst because these people are literally light years right. away from quote unquote the capital. Mm -hmm. And so the more the more planets you have, the more angsty that gets because they really want to be independent. Okay. And that's how you end up with minor civilizations. Okay. Right now, it's really piddly, though. Sure. So that's where that comes from. Here's our influence. We started with 10. Mm -hmm. And the planet class, it's great. Population. 2.5 billion, right? As far as population goes? We're going to go with 2.5 billion, yes. Okay. We, we we hate that because everyone on the team hates that because it's right not realistic. But Oh, I see what you're saying. It just yeah. doesn't make Otherwise, Earth would be the only thing that makes sense. In the sure. Okay. So then, yeah, there's no maintenance. So all is well. What mm -hmm. should we do? It's a new planet. Uh, uh, there's oh, only there's so much really we can good, do. Uh, there's, all, there's a really good place to build farms, which okay. we can't because we can't haven't yet. researched it yet. Right. There is a thulium catalyst, which is nice because it, having that gives me a 5% range, which is nice. And anything next to it gives me an adjacency to research. Well, I think we should build some research between the, the capital and or right there. landfall. Yep. Okay. Look at that three plus three. And because I'm an engineer, yeah, the humans are they yeah. get they automatically get their first building for free. Nice. I know. Okay. Well, we colonized a planet. We did. Is there is there anything else the noob would need to know? I think we should probably go and get a constructor. Okay. And build a star base. Let's and do that. And at that point, they're probably off to a good start. Okay. There's a new thing here. Yeah, I see that. Ooh, I Ideology. have a pragmatic point. Mm-hmm. So you get points when you make those choices, like you were asked to when you colonized the planet. We chose pragmatic, so we got... One ideology uh, point. One ideology point. Now, what happens? Do you win or lose the game if you fill up one of these? Um, if you're playing the multiplayer, you lose if you pick, you know, you... If you, oh, okay. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. Oh, I all right. I, I okay. Yeah, the uh, no, I, I we, basically they are they're just new features. First of all, the ID, odds they get more expensive every time. Sure. So okay. It's very unlikely you will ever fill them up. Okay. But you never know. I, I I I shouldn't say that. Some player somewhere is going to drag out That's the game right. enough That's and right. just game it enough to do it. But <laughs> okay. Generally, I have never gotten more than a quarter of these. Okay. Um. So you end up, I usually end up either enough to fill up one path mm -hmm. or to be shallow across the board. Oh, I see. So um, each of these has some pluses, and there's one real big plus for the purposes of our demo, mm -hmm. and that is this one. Mm -hmm. I can, If I choose this, I get three free constructors. Oh, yeah, we want those. We already have two things at least that we can go mine. Yep, that's true. So these other ones, like no one will declare war on us for the next 50 turns. That is pretty good. Yeah, except I don't know anyone. Right, good point. No one's going to be declaring war on me for a while. Yeah, so you're going to choose the builder because, yes, we want those constructors. And there they are. There she is. Wow, that was fast. Yes, they just I just get them. And now it's time to do something with them. Yes, let's do that. So let's, hey, when I click on them, as you can see, there is a dotted line. Yep, that's how far they can go. That is the area of effect of whatever benefit that's the star oh. base they build will do. I see. So they can go beyond that line, but we whatever we want to mine... See, they will literally... Tra right. ...needs to be within that area of effect. Right. So I can actually do it right now. Okay. So I will. All right. So I come down to Command. All right. And I'm going to choose Construct Starbase. Look at that. First Starbase. Hooray! I'm so proud. Humans, you are coming so far. Mm-hmm. And we'll call it Deep Space Nine. We, we, we can. So let's see, idle ship. I still have a couple more of these guys. You do, right. We had that. There's that uh, thulium. Yeah, right. let's go get that thulium. Now, you don't park right on it. You no, go I next just, to it. Just in their area. Okay. And then I have another one. And mm. I see right over here. Is there, was there somewhere else? One? Oh, we want to get here. Now, you know what I'm going to do with that third one? What are you going to do? I can come over here and build a shipyard with it. Oh, and so then we can this have planet another can, shipyard. Yeah, then I can... Uh, do you recommend that every planet have a ship have its own shipyard? I would recommend that every star system okay. have its own. Because there's still I still want to definitely colonize this planet. All right, and, and there's no I will, sense in 
Yeah, and one of the things to be aware of is that when I click on this guy, mm -hmm. I can click Manage and then Edit Sponsors mm -hmm. and add more planets to it okay. to feed in here. In fact, for our purposes, I'm going to ask you to sign this. Okay. There's a downside, though. See how he's only providing 1.7? He's pretty far away. Cause, right. I'm losing. I'm taking 12%. Wow. Hit. Yeah, it's not too bad, but... It's, but that makes you, uh, on your your home world, in this case Earth, it makes you uh, manufacture ships faster. Right. This shipyard will produce a little bit faster. You can actually see the line yeah. connecting them. But you also get a line to, ooh, supplies from this planet going all the way to shipyard are traveling literally across time and space. Yeah. And now, there's that little arrow, mm -hmm. upgrade Starbase. What we're going to want to do is we want to build a mining ring. What if I wanted to build one of the other rings? You could, but you would not necessarily be able to mine that resource. Then. I see. You, ki you kind of have to pick. So I'm going to choose mining ring. And, oh, pretty. And I'm about to get a cutscene, which is all that matters. Oh. So that shows... Uh, and the point is, is to explain to the game what the point of the stuff is so you can get some right. better armor mm -hmm. and can, better weaponry it's just it's a really good super metal it's like oh, what a uh, mithril or right right i was not gonna go with the marvel uh no, no. you weren't gonna go with that xeno industrialization so that's good and now i'm going to go ahead and get the uh the farming the farming good plan so that's basically the early part of the game i tell you even demoing this i get that one more turn because i haven't even met anyone yet. right i know i mean I we're know. seven turns in and i haven't murdered anybody <laughs> so we haven't colonized mars and here's here's the point i want everyone to go Mar no we will never colonize mars <laughs> well if this, what if it's the last planet in the galaxy that hasn't been colonized well yes but i'm saying in real life we're <laughs> right. never going to colonize mars because by the time we can we'll have found a better planet if, well, we've I think already that's found better planets. We can't get to them, though. Well, I think by the time we want to do Mars, realistically, yeah. we will have a lot of technology to get to those other planets, and then we won't want to go to Mars. Well, See, maybe. that's what happened here. Yeah, you you could have colonized right. Mars. You had a colony ship loaded. That's true. So how do you know and we're... you didn't even know there was another planet. <laughs> you didn't even know. I there, didn't even you know. You got lucky. I, I didn't even know. I did get lucky. So how do you know we're only seven turns in? Were you counting? Uh, well... <laughs> um, also up here, there is an hourglass that tells you seven. Okay. This tells you me my galaxy wide or my empire wide, civilization wide happiness. Okay. This is my total population. Earth is very unhappy. No, Earth seems happy. Like no, 70%. no. Look down at your uh, your colonies in the sidebar. There. They're not really. I have forty six percent approval rating. Forty six percent. Hey, That's George R. Bush would have killed for that. <laughs> I mean, and, and by kill, I mean like you know, literally. <laughs> or pr President Obama. I want to be equal opportunity. Right. Well, what's their problem? How would we make them happy? We would, if we could, which mm -hmm. we can't, build right. an improvement for that. But we okay. have not researched any tech. But what you would do mm -hmm. is I would go, remember when we were talking about our technologies? Mm -hmm. There's governance. Right. I would pick um, universal uh, commerce. Mm-hmm. Xeno Commerce, all right. And that would give me an entertainment center and a Promethean Pleasure Park. Ooh, that which... sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea what that means, but I, I know either. it involves a special resource. can use the imagination. So It means uh, I get to sit around and eat all day without gaining any weight. It does, because <laughs> you get, you get Promethean is like zero calorie chocolate. Sure, there we go. I like it. So you would build that here, and it would cause it would increase your uh, what is approval. That? What is that? That is that ascension crystal. Oh my goodness! And it's if I build here, I will start. It is. It's. You might even say it's transcending. <laughs> yes. If you build a star base around here, mm -hmm. you will uh, you will start to ascend. So I just collect more and more of those, and eventually, and and also research the right technology. Um, no, you just need to collect enough. Now, oh, okay. there's a downside, and that is you have it. Everyone sees, hey, you're you're trying to ascend. Uh, we're going to kill you, so you don't. I see. Why would they do that? Because they don't want you to kill them. All they right. they're afraid. 
Well, we haven't even met anybody else yet, but I think we need to um, end our, our beginner's tutorial here, and then maybe we can uh, continue this with some additional tutorials where we can get into some uh, little more advanced topics. Sure. Yeah, and we can, well, uh, what we'll do is we'll, we'll pause here, mm -hmm. and then we'll come back uh, when we've gone a little further after we've met some aliens and and go over designing ships and diplomacy and trade and like all that, that good stuff that sounds great all right well thank you brad all right thank you